Previously on Lisa the Painful RPG. Watch this. Here we go, guys. Woo! Oh, look! <laughs> oh my god! And now back to the sausage fest. Oh man. Brad, why you gotta be such a loner, dude? Uh-oh. Uh is that is that his boat? His buddy must have crashed there. No place you made it. Sure, okay. Ah, holy crap, I am getting a serious forearm workout, bro. I don't care, man. <laughs> At least you have arms to get a forearm workout with. <laughs> so I, oh yeah. Sorry, I guess that would be sort of a sensitive topic with you. I spy beer bottles. Damn it, hope buddy's not drinking again. That's a lot of bottles. Okay, she's on this island somewhere. Let's go find her. I'm ready for some action. No. What do you mean, no? That's not gonna happen. Huh? Hey, fella, I didn't go just go through all that for work for a pat on the back. I want a piece for that little bitch. Oh. Oh, fuck. What the hell? All right, well, I guess I'll just fucking kill you then. Thanks for getting me here. But then again, what? then again, <laughs> I can't really let him say that about Buddy, right? I mean, come on. I'm gonna fucking kill you now, so. Hey, <laughs> clubs at me. Wow, you did a whole lot of nothing to me. Alright, this isn't working. Shadi fadi. Fuck my balls. Oh, I got 4 XP from that. I'm rich. See you later, loser. He's dead. He's fucking dead, and I don't care. Actually, now I think about it, I'm kinda stuck here. There's no way I'm fanning the boat. I'm gonna be able to fan the boat. I guess I could put it in between my teeth and shake my head around. Give me that. Uh, I'm gonna use that. Man, that's a lot of beer. Buddy, are you fucked up somewhere? Jesus. I was having a little too much fun. What the? What in the actual fuck? Child, where are those little blue things? It's called joy. Where did you get that? Someone gave them to me. They don't taste good, but they they, they make you feel good. Sweetheart, I don't think I don't think you should take those. What? What you looking at? Who's there? What are you? You? Can't believe you're still alive, Bradley. Kill Marty. Let him li let him live. Fuck, I don't know. Marty was a piece of shit. Dad. Oh, you. Oh. Uh. No! Brad, stop! I said I wanted to let him live. Don't hurt me, save my life. Move. Move! Fuck! Hey. Don't you hit her. Damn, what in the fuck? Marty, you're still fucking alive? Alright, so I guess you weren't the snake head that I saw. Ah, I'm crying. Ah. Stop kicking dirt in my face, you ass. Stupid old man. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Mario Armstrong doesn't want to do this. What the hell, dude? You're a total asshole to me. Why are you... And now he's, like, treating Buddy like... Is he, like... Does he feel guilty what happened to Lisa or something? Is that what it is? Hard to believe someone like him would feel guilty about it. Oh! Stop! Don't hurt him! Buddy's defending... Oh, fuck! Oh, come on! I don't want to do that! Let me leave! Let me leave! What the fuck? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Wow, Brad is fucking losing his mind. Jesus, Brad! Uh, stop it, Brad! Why are you 
doing this? Oh, father coughed up blood. Oh, fuck. Fucking die, you little fuck. Through a bottle. Oh, now, now instead of saying Marty Armstrong's his father. Bradley. I've changed. Lisa, baby. I'm sorry. Oh. Ah! Am I at the same point now? <laughs> I've, I've finally become what I've always wanted to be. A fucking same point. Oh, man. That is it, though. So he does. He feels guilty for uh, what happened to Lisa. Oh, my God. But, I mean, didn't... I, I believe, like... He didn't just, like, abuse... I mean, like, physically abuse him. He also, like, sexually abused Lisa, I think. So, I mean... I sort of believe someone like that could... Have a a change of heart, you know. The world, the world of Terry Hints fills your soul. If you want, you can save to a different slot in case you fail. Oh, okay. Guess I'm getting to the end game here. I micro, buddy. Damn it! She took the boat. Fuck! How did she get? How did she get to move? Oh, boy. Well, I really screwed myself this time. Damn, I lost my... She stole my bicycle! <laughs> oh, now Brad had no arms. So Marty has been living out on this island all by himself for all these years. Oh, no, that's bad, though. And then it looks like Buddy must have tried Joy. Oh, man, this story is getting so fucked up. It's so... Ugh. Oh! Wow. Damn. I think I might have beat on him a little more even after he was dead there. <laughs> Nothing remains. What'd I do? Eat him? <laughs> what I beat him with? My face? The joy's gone. Oh. That was, that was sitting there. Well, fuck. What do I do? Well, there's no food here, so I guess I'm gonna have to eat ya. Sorry, Farty or Shardy, or whatever the fuck your name is. Use Tardy as a boat? <laughs> what? Yeah, because by the laws of physics, that totally makes sense. How am I gonna paddle? <laughs> what? Where am I? What am I doing? Uh, this is what I'm doing with my life. Riding a dead guy I killed. This fucking boat. Beating my father into literally nothing. All that's left is his, like, legs or something. Uh, should have some sunscreen. Or maybe a few more party members. They could have probably helped snap me out of my fucking delusions. Uh, okay, I've been floating out here for about three weeks now. Still not sure I haven't bled out or starved. Died of thirst. That is a rock. I think I passed by that rock three times now. Fuck. Fuck you, rock. Oh, hey, there's land too. <laughs> hey! Hey, Skullhead. Uh oh. Is this Rando's. Rando's, uh. Territory. The end is nigh. Oh, guess we're getting there. Getting close to the end here. Do I still have? No, I still don't have my bike. Some rando rations. Is 
Anybody here? More random rations. Uh, oh fuck, what is that? <gasps> oh god! Stop! What are you doing? Hold it! Ah, I'm not done yet. Ah, look at me, Bradley. I didn't think God cared about me. Hell, I used to clean toilets. But not in this world. Now I get the girl! Ha ah, ha! Finally I get what I deserve! Ha ah. Don't touch her! What? Your face? You gotta brand her! Stop! Ew! Stop it! Wait, everyone will know she's mine! Fuck you, you fucking sick twisted fuck! Mr. Angonelli, who the hell are you supposed to be? You know, I don't even care. I don't even fucking care, because you know what? You're about to be dead in about 10 seconds. Headbutt! And headbutt again. Oh, he licked his wounds. The fucker. I'm gonna knock you down to fucky town. Oh god, damn, buddy, he cannot catch a fucking break. Who stop licking your wounds, you dick? Fireball. Oh, so much damage. Ugh. Ugh. Her face. My mark on history. Ah! Fucking die, shit stick. You fucking shit stick. Oh, buddy. Your cover up. Buddy gave but. Brad gave Buddy his poncho. I don't want this. But you're hurt. Your face and your chest. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm not a princess. I don't want your help. Why can't you leave me alone? But. What do you want from me? You've done nothing but hurt me. No, I want to help you. Rick, Sticky, it's not what they say. They don't know me, Buddy. Nobody does. I do, Brad. I know what you really are. You're a monster. You've taken everything away from me. And Marty. What you did to him. Only a monster could do that. Buddy, you don't know him. I know he's a better father than me in a few days than you ever were. Aw. Fucking hell. Come on, he was an abusive piece of shit. Buddy. Uh-oh. Brad's body is feeling strange. He has become a failure. Oh no! Oh, he did. Look, his things. Instead of he turned from nobody to failure in his stat, his status thing. Oh no! I lost my poncho too. Shit! I might as well take one of these random rations. Oh man! I'm coming, buddy. Ow. I'm coming, buddy. Uh, oh god. Rando trucks. Ooh, and more firebombs. Yeah, diesel. I might need that. Yeah, I, I mean, I really feel really bad for Brad, because I do, I mean, he does care about her. I mean... He is, don't get me wrong, Brad is fucked up. He's definitely got problems, but, but I, but I think, you know, uh, what is that? Is that something? No? Um, but I do think Buddy is just like, you know, she, I mean, she's, she's a naive girl, you know, so, so many, she, she's, I don't know, she just doesn't understand the way the world works, I feel like. I don't know why she's believing Buddy and Sticky over 
over Brad, you know, he's been taking care of her his whole life. Wow, I'm just making a lot of firebombs there. Should pro probably gonna need to start using those. Get a lot of everything here. A lot of rando rations, a lot of firebombs. It's preparing me for, I guess, the final fight. Am I gonna be fighting this alone then? So all my party members I got are not gonna be joining me? Oh, god dang it. Buddy. End of the line, friend. She belongs to Rando now. Fucking hell! Okay, I think I'm officially fucked now. I might be able to beat all these guys with my party members, but no, Brad, you're too fucking stupid. So you're gonna go run in there like a doodle. Hey! What happened to her face? It's rolling! Oh, god did it. Up. Uh, Buddy, need to run now. Buddy, what the fuck are you doing, dumb? Ah. Uh, stop. Who said? Oh, stop! Hey, you guys came for me. You came, Brad. I've been a loser my whole life. Hanging around you has made me feel strong for once, like a man. First day we ever met was the best day of my life. Aw. I love you too, Terry. Even though you fucked up so many times, I've had to save you like three times at least. And I finally turned you into the badass you were destined to be. Before the world changed, you don't feel the same way, but you're my best friend, dude. I love you. It's just this. Brad, this is our future you're messing with. Oh. I'm sorry. We can't let you do this. Oh, what the hell? No, Terry, why? Oh, hell, I guess it's a little hurt. Well, that's me for the working man. I don't like this. Guys, it ain't right. Brad, I don't want to hurt you. Stand down, please. Oh, come on. So everybody's against me? It's like, ugh. What is wrong with all these people? It's like, I can sort of understand doing this. I mean, it's like, it's like having someone be with her, like, when they got older to help save the world or whatever. But, like, when she's older, not now. No. Can't have her. All you people are filling her head with nonsense. Blinding her. You don't understand. I have to save her. I'm sorry, guys. No! Oh, no. They're all, they're both so sad. They're all so sad. No! I don't want to fight you! Let me run! I loved you guys! I worked so hard on you! Shock Lord. Terry hints, Birdie Hall. Oh no, they're all crying. I'm sad too. Oh, I've got, I've got new moves. Fire blast, charging headbutt, burning head slide, burning head slide. Oh, this is so sad. Terry's crying deeply. Oh, Terry's crying. Shockler's trying to get up. Oh, oh, this is so sad. This is like, this is crushing me, man. This is like soul crushing. I don't want to do this. Don't make me fight you guys. I love you guys. Fuck. Shockler's crying deeply. Oh, they're all crying. They're not even fighting me back. Oh, oh, stop! Oh, Birdie punched me. Oh, this is the saddest thing ever. Why are you making me do this game? I don't want to... Oh, they're not even... Well, Birdie's the only one who's actually fighting back, and he's not even hitting me that hard. I think I'm healing enough every each turn, too. Yeah. Terry Hintz doesn't want to do this. Neither do I, man. Neither does Nico B. Nico B doesn't want to do this anymore. This is making me so sad. I'm so bummed after this. This is... Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Shock Lord. No! No, Terry. I didn't get any experience for that. Oh. Oh, there's Rando. It's funny, we've only, it's like I keep hearing about him. We only saw him one, one time. <laughs> Rando! Fa fa face. Sir, you don't have to speak. D -d don't worry, little girl. A face is nothing. The inside it's it's what matters. I I I know. You are strong. Rando. He spoke. It's the first time I've ever heard him. His voice sounds so weak. I can't believe it. Wait, we have the Paul guy. We we haven't forgotten. Face it, you can't win. Well, Rando seems actually pretty nice, doesn't he? Too bad I was, it seems like all his minions are fucking crazy, though. Basically, can't wait. Just give a walk away with your life. You don't need to die today. No. Huh? Don't understand. I've been dead for 35 years. Day is the day I live. Oh, God. Fighting all of these guys? Oh, my God. Stevie Dane. Float, Float Ziggler. Mickey Neat. Bruno Lee. Walt Steamboat. And Spice Simmons. Time to lay down the pain, guys. This is the day I live. Ugh. Ugh. You know, might as well use one of those diesel fire bombs. Got to eat a million of them, so. Oh yeah, there we go. Stronger than I thought! I can't possibly take us all down! Kill him! What in the hell is going on? Oh no, is my. Brad is going fucking insane. I. Eat firebomb, motherfuckers. Oh my god! What the hell? Is he bionic or something? Yeah! You're damn right, I'm bionic. He's not human! He's still- how is he still alive? He's got no arms, dude! My god, Brad is blazing through these guys. Cry. Oh god, I gotta- cry, Help me- Help me, Lisa! Cry out for relief. Brad weeps. Oh, it actually- Actually gave me all my SP back. Aw. Oh god, Tamports is scared of you. Stared stiff. Excuse me. He's thinking. This is an arrow. They're all terrified of you. Good, you should be. You demon should be. Fucking guy! Maybe you guys shouldn't have set all those fucking diesel gas things out for me to get. Yeah, that was probably a bad idea on our part! He's horrified. Oh no. Oh no! Is Brad gonna- is Brad turning into one of those monsters? Cause he's taking joy? Is that why he's going so fucking batshit crazy? He's gotten- he's getting- seems to be getting stronger? Is that he's actually- I mean, I haven't been taking the joy though. I thought that would like prevent something like that from happening. But maybe just- maybe because I've just taken it once even? It would- it still will do that? Or, I mean, he, he was still- there was a point where he was an addict, so... Was he- was he been doomed from the start? Oh my god. No mercy, boom! Oh, you, oh, actually, you could actually see in his sprite, for Brad's sprite, it looked like he was crying in his sprite. Oh my god. Just- just give him the girl! 
Hey, let's go! It's a fucking monster! Get away, you freak! Yeah, oh, he is in his, in his, his, uh, sprite there. Aw. Oh my god, this is so heartbreaking. Help me, Lisa. Cry for relief. It hurts, you have to scream. They're like, oh my god, what the fuck? I'm turning into a demon lord, don't you understand? Don't understand, you almost die! When will you learn? When will you demon learn? He's like, oh god, I'm the only one left, please! Have mercy! No mercy. No mercy for any of you. Please! Oh my god! What the fuck, dude? This is horse shit! I go hack! Oh my god! Uh, oh my. Ew. Wow! Brad fucked them up badly. He didn't just kill them, he. He turned him. He did turn him into Satan mush, like yeah, like Satan does. Just turn him into fucking bits of bacon, bits of fucking ground beef. I'm having hamburgers today. Oh, and I'm chock full of arrows. What? <laughs> Stay back. Out of my way, Rando! Don't touch her. Ma Master Armstrong, p p please. We don't need to t f fight. She is the future. She's just a kid. Whoa. Alright, Rando. Get out of my fucking way. I said, get out of my way! Ow! Buster Punch! Where that is, you said. I was resistant to fire. Ow, burning! Damn, you're tough! You're a tough nugget! Ow. Ugh. Dude, damn, how you sound like a crippled old man. You're strong as fuck though. Bring it on, Rando. Drop kick. Be gone, Rando. God dang, dude. It's a fucking epic fight, damn. Die, Rando. I wish he wasn't resistant to fire. It's making it really hard to hurt him. Ow! Wait, I know what I need. I need some alcohol. I need to get fucked up. Time to get drunk. Gives me a bonus damage. Oh! His mask is breaking. Ugh. 
Rando's crying. Oh god. He's like, dude, stop. Oh, now Rando's just crying. He's not even fighting back. No mercy for Brad. Oh god, it broke his ma Oh, Jesus! Oh, is he... What in the world happened to his face? Maybe... Could it be that he's... Messed up from joy as well? Or maybe he get... I don't know, maybe he had a tough childhood or something? Like, I can't tell if those are like scars or what? Oh, he's not resistant to fire anymore. Time for my diesel bombs. Oh, he's coughing up blood. Oh, he's, oh, now he's just broken man. Oh, man. It's not even Rando anymore, it's just a broken man. Like Brad. Sad, broken man. You really are the best. Thank you for everything. Wow. That was fucking epic and intense. Oh, fuck me. I think I might have a little something on me. He's done. Oh, poor Brad. Uh, uh, Alright, buddy. We can go home now. Buddy. Uh, Brad. Daddy Brad. Has a boo-boo or two. Oh, no. Buddy. It's over. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you trying now? Why weren't you there when I needed you? You've taken everything away from me. I know. Finally, a chance at a life and you take it away. What are you talking about? Like, to live outside in the real world or something? I mean, really? You want to live in this fucked up place? This place sucks, buddy. Most of these people suck. You see how ridiculously horny and perverted everybody was? Stop. Why are you trying to hurt me so much? You make me sick, I hate you. Stop. I know you hate me. I know. Why, Brad? Why did you do this to me? I just to do something for myself. No, buddy. You didn't. For good or for evil, it didn't matter. Those men wanted to use you. People are always going to try and use you and hurt you. Use your life for you. Don't preach to me. Shut the fuck up and listen, buddy. Please. It's too late for that. You can't be a father all of a sudden. I just... For once, I wanted to do something good. I'm the one that was supposed to protect you. I can't let anyone hurt you. Brad. You've hurt me the most. Oh, Buddy. Can you do something for me? Please. What? Hold me. Why? I want to know what it's like. Aw. I'm begging you. Oh, now I'm controlling her? Hug Brad, leave him alone. Come on, give him a hug. Aww. Oh, he's crying. It's okay. Buddy. Yes? Did I do the right thing? Oh man. Wow.
What in the world? I keep saying that. It's like, kill her, Brad Armstrong. What? Taste her. It's your fault. What in the hell? Burn, kickst burn Kickstarter backers. Love. Wake up, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He was turning into the, one of those. Oh no! <laughs> it's not over yet, apparently. Oh fuck me! Please tell me Buddy's gone. Oh man, so he's still showing up, turning into one of those things, even after I didn't give him any of the fucking joy. I see a flower. Oh God, please tell me she's not in there. Oh, is that her? Lisa. Whoa! Selfless. Well, it's a failure. The joy has no use to our investors. They say it could be. It can't be used as a weapon. Once it's gone into effect, the user begins to lose control. So that is it. It is. It is because of the joy. They no longer can make choices for themselves. Only the user's innermost desires come out. I see. So that explains why. That explains why Brad has been so has been so out of control. I don't know. Like, I feel like Buddy is being selfish, though. I feel like the way she was like, it really was pretty obvious that Brad wanted her best interest, and it seems to me like she just didn't realize how fucked up everybody was. You know, I'm glad that at least at that point at the end there that he was he at least told her that. So only make choice. So, but it it does show why he was just like completely out of control. <laughs> The only plus is that it doesn't take a lot of joy in order to start the transformation. I see. It doesn't take a lot of joy, so... I guess that means Brad's kind of been screwed. Because he... So, it is. It's like I thought. But still. They say it has no military benefits. I guess that means... Um, enough. I know... I know this from the start, you fool. What? They served their purpose. They got their money and now they're gone. And now it's time for me to build my world. Oh, it that is Dr. Yada. I somehow I knew it was gonna be him, because he seemed like he was the head doctor, right? And I they mentioned him, but I never saw him. Yada, you're <laughs> acting insane. This whole thing is falling apart. And Dr. Yado is It seems like he was the one that was head of this joy operation. You've lost it all, it's time to let this go. Shut up. If you feel that way, then why don't you leave? Exactly. We both have our, re our reasons for staying. Besides, I have a plan. And what's that? Nancy. I'll use her. Jesus Christ, Yano. That's your daughter. Oh, God. Furthermore, you can't possibly expect it to work. It's, it won't be that simple. You're fucking insane. Bernard, Bernard, Bernard. Once you taste a power like this. You will understand me. Yado, for the last fucking time. My name is not Bernard. It's Buzzo. It's Buzzo. Oh, I did. I got it. The jewelless end. Damn. That was a fucking intense ending. <laughs> so... Buzzo was working with Dr. Yado, it seems. And what did what would Dr. Yado use his daughter for then? As an as an experiment for this stuff? Could it be maybe that like 
maybe Dr. Yato's daughter was her, was like Buddy's mother or something? I don't know. Damn. Oh, man, that was really sad, though. Like, really, really sad. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping that would end happier than that, but, oh, God, that was, that was rough. I'm glad at least Buddy, like, I'm glad Buddy at least hugged Brad at the end, you know? I feel so bad for Brad. I was just, I don't know. I feel like he just, he seemed like he was trying to do the right thing. I, I know you probably could argue, well, you know, he was just trying to, you know, make up for loot for the death of the suicide of his sister or something. But like, I mean, it seemed like he just, I don't know. I, I think Buddy was out of line. I, but I think Buddy is just a naive little girl who just doesn't understand the the ways of the world. It was just unfortunate, especially in his final moments that you know she would say that to him. Oh man, and it really hurt having to. It really hurt killing all my party members. Or at least well, the the ones that were with me. It was so sad they were like crying when I was like attacking them. It was just like, oh my god, you're breaking my heart, game. Jeez, wow. I I gotta say though, I'm really really impressed by this game. Like, I don't know. I I hope you guys feel that way too. Like. Despite the really sad, sad ending and the really sad parts that were in throughout it, and a lot of very painful, pretty fucked up parts, I really enjoyed this game, and I I'm a little shocked because usually games like this that were have that really get really fucked up, kind of make me go like, oh, I don't, you know, I'm not a big fan of it. But like, I think part of what made it good was the fact that it wasn't just like that the whole way through. This game had a really good sense of humor. It was pretty bizarre sense of humor, but it was fucking laugh out loud funny. Some of those moments, like the the McDo the heavenly McDonald's, everybody worshiping that. Uh, just bits of the dialogue, the random NPCs. Uh, I mean, the people that the, your party members, characters you ran into. It was good, you know. It was it, it it was a good way to balance out the darker moments in the game, and there were plenty of that to go around. Oh man, yeah. It. I really gotta give props to Dingling. He. I really think he made a. He really did a great job with this game. I really, I really enjoyed it. I just thought it was a great game. The music was really great. I enjoyed the, uh, it was bizarre, but it was just, it was totally fit the, the atmosphere of the game. Uh, the art was fantastic, a very unique, kind of, kind of remind me of Earthbound a bit, like I said at the beginning. Um, the battles, I thought the battles were really good. Like I said, I liked it that status effects actually affect bosses, which a lot of RPGs don't do. Um, also, I don't know, I, I it was tough, but... I think for the most part fairly forgiving um and uh the characters every I, I like how all even all your side characters all had you know personalities flaws things like that made it all very interesting i thought the brad's dynamic with buddy um and buzzo and even rando there at the end i thought those that was all really engaging like just just extremely interesting and like i said this this game did an excellent job of being able to paint a story by showing not telling um and i feel like that's very that could be very hard to do, you know? But, uh, the only, my biggest gripe, my biggest criticism, uh, is the, is that when you walk off the edge, you die. That's the game. That's like probably my biggest critique against this game. The ending was sad, but, you know, I don't know. I can't say it wasn't, in, like, it wasn't appropriate either. You know, I mean, the game itself has already been fairly dark, you know? I kind of had a feeling the ending would probably be pretty sad. I think I was sort of prepared for it a little bit. I hoped it wouldn't be, but very interesting very memorable game. I'm really glad I played this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I think you like, it seemed like you guys sort of took a little while to warm up to it, but then once you got got into it, you were like, like oh, this is actually pretty good, So, um, which I'm really glad. Um, I know technically this is actually the second game in the series. There is the one before that called Lisa the First, which I actually think he plays Lisa, and I'm guessing probably ends with her suicide. I, I hear it's a lot like you, Nikki, which, which also ends with a suicide. Um, <laughs> so I... I don't know. I, I didn't start with that one because uh, I don't know. I, I it sounded so much like you, Nikki, that I was just like, I don't know if I wanted to do that one. But I, I'm definitely glad I played this. And this actually, Dingling is actually supposed to come out with the the a third and I believe final uh, game in this. I'm guessing the tr this trilogy. I, I I think it's the final game at least. At least it's a sequel to this game called Lisa the Joyful. It's got the Joyful in the name, so maybe it'll be a bit more uplifting. But I believe you're actually supposed to be playing his buddy in that game. So, like, in sort of continuing her journey. 
Uh, I thought it was kind of nice, a nice little thing at the end there where you actually took control of her just for briefly to cho to make that last choice. I thought that was kind of cool. But yeah, I will absolutely play that game when it comes out. Like I said, I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was great. Um, I hope you all did too. And if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe now. Become Picky Pill on aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Ooh. That's it. That story's gonna stick with me for a while. I'll probably probably gonna look stuff up after this just to like to try to help understand some of the things better. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of theories and stuff. But I'm looking forward to the next one. I think he said it was supposed to come out this summer. So I'm I don't know. I don't know. If it could be uh, maybe a few weeks or what. I, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully it'll be out soon. And when it does, I absolutely play it. And hopefully, I mean, if you guys are cool with that. Um. Anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy.